Hey, good morning. Hey, my name is Paul Mahoney, and on behalf of all the brothers of the North Texas Catholic Brothers for Christ, we wanted to welcome you to the fourth annual North Texas Catholic Men's Conference. We're so glad you're here. You made a great decision to spend time with the Holy Spirit today and grow in our holiness. Um, our theme for this year, uh, we put a lot of creative thought into it. It is sort of the spirit, fight the good fight of faith. And we're inspired by Ephesians 6, 17, which says, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. You know, and, and we looked at last year's theme, which, which was faith forges freedom, iron sharpens iron. If we look at freedom, to us, freedom means the ability to live responsibly the truth with God and with each other. And so no matter where we are on our faith journey, no matter where we are, God wants us to experience more freedom, more forgiveness, and more of his compassionate grace. We also looked at Galatians 5.13. It says, For you were called for freedom, brothers, but do not use this freedom as an opportunity of the flesh. Rather, serve one another through love. And if we look at the Catholic Brothers for Christ mission statement, it is motivating Catholic men to commit to building the body of Christ by uniting his brothers, living the gospel values in all areas of our lives, and facilitating faith-building programs in your community. And so then that made us take a look again at six, Ephesians 6, 16 and 17. In all circumstances, hold faith as a shield to quench the flaming arrows of the evil one, and to take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. In last year's Proverbs 27, 17, which says iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. So we build those two together. It is my responsibility to be my brother's keeper, to keep, help keep my brother sharp and them to do the same thing for me. And when we look at those together, um, it becomes pretty obvious that, that we believe that when we gather in community as men, that we can listen, learn, pray for, and with one another, that we can be on our way to renewed life in Christ. And so we're, we're glad that we came up with this year's theme, Sword of the Spirit. We've got to know the Word of God and dive into it every day to make a difference in our lives. This year, you're going to notice things a little bit differently. We've got a ministry fair out there. Because we, we truly believe it's about becoming a disciple of Christ, not just a fan of Christ. There's plenty of those out there, but we want to, we want to be on our road to true discipleship. If you, if you look at it, it begins with evangelization. Evangelization is where we bring people into a relationship with Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. Then, then when a person responds to God's love and freely chooses God, then the sacramental life, we start with baptism, where we grow in a relationship with Christ. We look at the sacraments, where we have an opportunity to receive God's grace. The Holy Spirit is, is, was revealed to the apostles in four ways. Through the, through the teachings, the apostles' teaching, which is the Word of God, Scripture. Through sacramental life and especially the breaking of the bread in the Eucharist. We look at community. We're called to community. Life in the Christian community to build the body of Christ and then to be lead a prayerful life. And, and, and quite simply what we're talking about is having, living life as a, through prayer as a regular conversation with God on a daily basis. So we look at those. And we, we also looked at um, recently the number one reason people live, leave the faith. It's because they try to go it alone. They don't have a band of brothers. They don't have their sisters. They try to do it on their own, and they, they stub their toe, run into trouble, and they leave. So we, our commitment to you is we're going to bring you resources. We're going to bring you not only vendors, ministry fairs, um, fellowship groups in your community to help you have that support group that we all so desperately need to help us build and grow in that relationship together. Throughout the conference, you'll have the opportunity to experience fun, fellowship, music, praise, worship. We're going to do some singing today. We're going to have Eucharistic adoration. We're going to have a chance to uh, uh, practice the sacrament of reconciliation. All 700 of you gentlemen, we're going to pray the rosary together. 
and, and we're going to hear from four great speakers. And then we're going to end the day with the summit by celebrating Mass, all of us together. But I said it was different today. We're, we're setting it up where we can live that discipleship life, and that starts with service. And I'll remind us all that James 2.24 reminds us, see how a person is justified by works and not by faith alone. I've got to put it into action. 2.26 says, for just as a body without spirit is dead, so also faith without works is dead. And so we, I would encourage you to take some time and visit our ministry fair today. You know, it's, it's our call to action to live the corporal works of mercy, to feed the hungry, to clothe the naked, to give drink to those who are thirsty, uh, to shelter the homeless, to visit the sick, visit the imprisoned, and bury the dead. So we brought all those ministries here today in our ministry fair. Make sure you make a connection, shake their hands, learn about them, and if the Holy Spirit calls you, volunteer your time and talent to serve others. You're also going to hear from four dynamic speakers today. We're going to hear from Bishop Michael Olson, the Bishop of the Fort Worth Diocese. We're going to hear from Father Larry Richards. He's a captivating speaker, priest, retreat master. Tom Peterson is with us. He is the founder of Catholic, Catholics Come Home and Virtue Media. He promotes Catholic evangelization on a regular basis. And Michael Corrin, a Canadian broadcaster, an author, a columnist, uh, he writes for publications such as the Catholic Register and Catholic Insight and Catholic World Report. And so you'll hear from all four of those dynamic speakers throughout the day. Plus, we'll give you a chance to connect with men's fellowship groups in your community to keep the fire going well after the conference is over. So I'll ask each one of you to open your heart, calm, your, calm yourselves, and just be open to what might happen throughout the day and see how the Holy Spirit will work in your life. We are going to pray as a leadership group for you throughout this day. So if you need anything, you need our prayers. We're going to have a basket over here in a few minutes at the next break. You have cards in your uh, packages. You've got two index cards. When we place a basket in front of the podium at the next break, we would love to see this model happen for those who feel called. To give you an example of what it means to have a brother that is there for you, We'd invite you to write your contact information on one side of that card, your daytime phone number and your name. And then on the other side of the card, we'd invite you to write a prayer intention, a brother, a sister, a cause, a person, whatever it is that needs a prayer warrior praying for them this next week. If you feel called to do that, you're welcome to drop those index cards in the basket. And then at another break, we'll welcome you to take one out. And I told you that we are each other's brother's keeper. Wouldn't it be awesome if sometime next week you got a call from another man that attended this conference and he said, hey, brother, I, I, I went to the conference this weekend. I got your name. How are you doing? How are you doing? Tell me what's going on in your life. Help make that connection. And when I call the brother that I've got, whoever I end up with, my responsibility is to just listen. Let him talk to me about what's going on in his world and, and be there for him. That's how we build strong Catholic men in a Christian community. So we'll invite you to do that process, okay? What I want to do now is uh, we're going to transition here in just a minute, but I want to start off with a prayer. So I would ask each of you to, uh, to close your eyes and bow your heads real quick. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Let go, let God. Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, think about these things. Today I let my true self, the Christ in me, have full sway over my mind. I let go all the negative thoughts that may make me miss the guiding touch of my Christ self. Throughout this day and every day, I keep my mind centered on the positive side of life, the true reality. Repeat these next phrases after me. I let go fear. I let in faith. I let go anxiety. I let in confidence. I let go hate. I let in love. I let go darkness. 
I let in light. I let go gloom. I let in joy. I let go poverty. I let in prosperity. I let go weakness. I let in strength. I let go sickness. I let in health. I let go tension. I let in peace. I let go self. I let in Christ. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Only by thinking these true thoughts can I happily live victoriously. Only by thinking positively can I create good in my life. Amen.